Cola. Today's topic: spring mushrooms. What else other than marrow you can find in the spring? I mean, edible mushrooms. So the first one, we usually call this the oyster, oyster mushroom. And this uh, next, so the oyster mushroom is really common. You can find it in the grocery store everywhere. And this one is also you can find in the grocery store. And it look like totally different compared to the wild. And this one is very common to find by the marrows. I mean, when you're looking for the marrow, you did not find marrow, you found marrow, but you definitely will find this one. Because uh, they uh, very commonly grow on the dead animal tree. It's come out from the bark of the tree. So they have, uh, you know, they have a common name, one well, large food. That's a common name. And in the spring, you will see this as well. This is very common. But I only eat in the, the size like this. They can grow really big, but when it's good, when it's too big, it's it's not taste good. So uh, this have a common name. Uh, it's called Audrey Sandal. They have a common name for this. And this is a very good mushroom. But it's come out in kind of really later spring. It's not not in the earlier. And uh, it's grew on the lungs. Just grew on the lungs. And usually we call it a shaggy may. That's a common name. And this this also is in the later spring and go all the way to the fall. So some people call it a coral mushroom. Coral mushroom. And uh, so it's uh, commonly you will find in the spring other than a rose. So the oyster mushroom is a really big one. I mean, I can pick up hundreds, hundreds of pounds. This is very common in the spring. And the oyster mushroom, it uh, grew all year, actually. I, I actually found one in the New Year Day. I mean, that's, uh, that's many years ago, but the, the winter is super warm. That was really surprised me. So the spring oyster usually is a white color. And the uh, fall oyster usually have different kind of color. And this uh, vanilla food, uh, oh, this one is grew the spring and the fall. And the fall. Two seasons. This is kind of my favorite, but it's just too small. You just don't, you can't pick a lot of them. And this uh, grew the spring to the fall. I mean, spring, summer, and the fall. Whole season. Spring, and summer, <laughs> summer, and the fall. Whole season. Only small ones good to eat. And this, oh, this one is the spring and the fall. Spring and the fall. Usually it's in the fall. You still can see some in the spring, but usually it's in the fall. And yeah, if you found the right spot, you, you, you can pick a lot. I think uh, just last year I picked up over 100 pounds, just one spot. You can see this, uh, this cluster probably over five pounds already. Right here, this cluster. Probably over five pounds. And there are many behind, you see. <laughs> and this, uh, yeah, this is all season. 
from the spring to the spring, summer, and the falls, and the fall. This uh, tastes uh, just like a morose. And, and they have some similar mushroom. You know, it's not grew on the decade log. So this, this yeah, yeah, there's a one kind of identification since this grew a decade. Log. So this one grew only on the decade logs. There's some another one, you know, grew on the 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 the, the, the ground. So it's different. I, I'm not really go over really detailed identification for each mushroom, but if more people interested on the um on some mushroom, you can leave me some comment, and and I can you know do some really detailed identification video for that kind of mushroom. So today's video I just show you this oyster. Bonnet food, join the sandal and the uh, shaggy may and the coral mushrooms. That's common when you're hunting for the morrow. You may see those things. Okay. And the next video we will go out. Yeah, from next video, old video will be in the field. Will be old field practice. And I will show you what exactly I found. You'll be surprised how many, <laughs> you know, wild food you can eat. And uh, good stuff. See you. Bye.